Shut up and sit down. Reza from Frame MMA, and I'm here with uh, David Jacobson, the victor of the main event, and his coach, Paul. Uh, a lot of people are saying that was a very controversial decision. What is your thoughts on the fight? So, third round, Stramanis, right? That's no controversy. Second round, I would say me with no controversy either because I had his back for like two minutes. So, it's the first round. Um, he, he hit me hard once. I kicked him in the face once. So, it's a coin toss, I would say, but th all three judges saw that I won two rounds. So, I mean, yeah, maybe it was a close fight, definitely. And he finished strong, so I could see why, why everybody, I would were saying like he won, but, but it, all three judges gave me the win. So I, I, would, I would need to go back and watch the fight again. But yeah, I think I won first and two second based on everything what people were saying. And you would think the same? Yes, uh, the first round, well, and the second round. And the third one, he was very strong and he finished very strong through money. So it, 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 the wins was correct. Uh, I just recently spoke to Stramanis, who is quite distraught with the scorecard. Um, and he says that he would like to have a rematch with you on the next Fight Club Rush for the title this time. Is that something that you'll be interested in? What's the next one? Next month. Yeah, but maybe autumn, autumn should, should be probably be good, right? Yeah, I think I, it's in May. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I can do 70 that, that close because, I mean, it, it, it took uh, away quite some of my, my body. It was. It was, it was harder than I expected to go back to 70 now, and uh, I think my body would need at least a few months, like recovering from from the weight cut. But, but yeah, in autumn I would I would be open to a rematch for sure. And would you say that there's anything that surprised you in this fight coming from Stramanis? No, I I knew it was going to be tough. I mean, I I I, I, I was I was nervous about how the fight's going to play out because I, I know he's coming for I know he's fucking strong. He's hard and has a good endurance. That's why I, I pushed so hard in like in training camp. But I, I didn't really, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Uh, as I say, I didn't throw like straight punches. I was, yeah, I, I didn't follow the game plan too good. So that's, I wouldn't say anything surprised me. He caught me fucking good with the first punch he threw though. Uh, I think as I low kicked, he countered. And uh, from then on, I saw like one and a half Stramanis like in a blur. That didn't help, but yeah, if if I would have, um, I mean, continue with my game plan, it would have been better, for sure. And without giving away too much, what was his game plan? As I said, if they may fight again, uh, like around what was the game plan that you were given to him? Uh, the game plan was that we're gonna stand outside against him and uh, throw a lot of jab, long technique, mm -hmm. to stay outside and be long all the time. And then we're gonna make him like, uh, confused yeah. because we know that for sure he's very strong the first round mm -hmm. and if he don't can touch us the first round he will start be big and then we will attack him more that was the plan. Um, you also had him in a few submissions there was there anything surprising you about him not tapping or not going out in those moments i mean no because it's it's like in like in professional mma you gotta be ready that people are tough and they won't tap. Mm -hmm. But I heard, I heard him during the guillotine. I mean, it was so close, it was so tight, and yeah, I, I think he was close to sleeping or tapping. But and then his head started popping out. Obviously, it helps being bald, I guess. <laughs> and then I tried like for the triangles, which was also very, very close. But he, I mean, he's a fucking powerful dude. I mean, he can just explode out submissions. He really naked choke also. I mean, I almost had a grip for it. I mean, even if I'm over the chin, I, I mean, I put people to sleep with that. So, yeah, I got to work with my details. So next time they're going to be airtight. And you're saying that, you know, 77, you may go back to in the fall. Um, but what would you say is next for you? No, no, I said I can do 70 again in autumn. Okay. Like in fall, during the fall. But now, like, let's say the next few months. I would probably need, like, my body would need to rest from the weight cut because I, I, I can't go 70 too often. Yeah. Okay. That's like the big downside of being a big 70. Because uh, I'm too small for 77, too big for 70. And uh, like now I'm uh, 82 kilos today. Mm -hmm. so, and my stomach took a lot of damage uh, during the cut. So 
let's say I would do some like 73, 77, like before summer or summer, and then in autumn I would be ready to go in 70 again. Uh, that sounds great. Um, so the, the next Fakla Rush, you may sit out, um, but the ones in the future will be something that you'll be interested in, or would you like to have it in a different event? No, but I mean, I would be open for a rematch because I, I can see it was a close fight, right? I mean, there's probably a score to be settled. I mean, even if I if I won now, I mean, I, I would I would still see that the score would have to be settled. So I, I would be open if if they would do would do the fight for the title, I'd be down for it. And you had a lot of support going into the fight as well. Do you have a message for the fans that supported you? Yeah, thank you for coming, everybody. Sorry for not delivering a more decisive like win and fight. But I'm pretty sure this is maybe a question to you, though. I get, I mean, the fight, was it at least entertaining? I would say so, yes. Yeah, I mean, th that's good at least. I mean, they didn't, they didn't come for nothing. So at least it was a good fight, right? But next time it will be a better performance on my part, I would say. Well, I'd say your performance was just great. And uh, thank you for the talk after. Thank you, brother.